Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable hand bead copper poo. Um, now, to make this copper poo, you're going to need light brown beads, dark brown beads, white beads, and black beads. Um, now, to make this, um, you're going to need all these possibly obviously pre sorted, and um, getting all of these pre sorted is going to take you a very long time, uh, and it'll be a waste of time, it would take you a few hours, which is not the most enjoyable experience. So, so that you can make the most of your life and you can enjoy, have fun time making hand beads, you don't have to do with the pre sorting, we have put together a kit um, to make the hand beads called poo. Um, it is as cheap as buying all the beads um, in a big pot and something like yourself. It, we have not had any extra price on for that. In fact, it's actually cheaper than doing that. Um, you also get the board, a template, and ironing paper, so you get everything you need to make it. It's um, free shipping and it's cheaper than anywhere else. Um, also, you get these brown beads which are. Um, actually extremely hard to find. Um, they're very rare hand beads and to get your hands on them you have to order them in bulk so you have to buy a massive amount. You can't just buy like um, a tiny amount so to get so you have to like buy a pack of a large amount and then sort them all out. You can't just buy a smaller pack. You have to buy a pack of lots of these knits. These are really hard to get your hands on and be much 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 cheaper just buy them off us. So uh, if, you, if you want to make this copper poo and you get these beads which I doubt many people will I highly recommend you go buy our kit. Um we also are selling these just with um without the kit pre-made so if you don't want to make for it, if you, but if you want to have this lovely copper poop, but you don't actually have to make it, then that's also fine. We'll also link that. Um, we have three schnauzers left for sale. So um, I'll link those the description as well. We also have uh, five schnauzer kits left for sale as well. So I'll also link that. I'll link the schnauzer video. We'll also link our Greek flag and the Greek flag video as well in case you want to buy any of those um now to make the schnauzer i mean sorry schnauzer cockapoo what's the thing i'm doing with no cockapoo to make the cockapoo um the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the like outline and to do the outline we're going to first need these light brown beads. It's going to be quite weird saying light brown beads and black, dark brown beads. It's going to be quite annoying. But there we go. That's what we've got to do. Um, you need to go in at least at least eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go in nine just to be. Right, so that's what you do is we're going to place five beads, so one, two, three, four, five, skip three beads and you go to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna go down and across, down and across. starts to get complicated and where if you have the template you're going to find this a lot easier than if you don't remember it. If you have the template that's fine it's just going to be a lot harder for you. So I'm going to show you one side now you can do the other side on your own. So side from the speed here so it'll be six in total but we're going to place another five using the board so that'll be one, two, mm -hmm. 
three, four, five, and then we're going to miss a space. Then we're going to miss a space. And then we're going to go down one and across one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our lights down here today. And we're going to fill in the other gaps with brown beads, dark brown is me. And so, so those two beads, and then for the bottom one, we're going to go two going up, and then one going across, like that. Now these are um, might look a bit weird, but this is just going to be part of the year, so as you can see, you know, there, there. Because sometimes, because on the pocket you'll see that the ears kind of overlap onto bit of their head so let's try and kind of create that effect using hammer beads so what i would recommend you do is i recommend you pause the video now and then do the other side the exact same way i did it if you have a template you can just copy the template um if you don't have the template then you can just copy the other side of your cockapoo notch now going to start by just doing a row of three white beads. And then we're going to do this six rows. So you see them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, it's actually eight or six. And it's hard to remember these things, so yes, eight rows of three. So, um, I recommend you pause the video now, and then come back once you've done those eight rows. side and then um, I'm going to let you do the other side on your own. So, this is going to go down the cross one, down the cross one, down the cross one, so I'm going to move my hand, down the cross one again. Starting on the eighth one down, that's when we're starting to go out and down like that. Okay? Okay, so I was right before. Without templates, who've now gone like 
Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm sure about that. But now, now you know uh, which way it is. I was getting confused because over here they have it up there, and I was thinking, oh, it's going to go up there because I haven't filled it in yet. But obviously, I've done that bit already. So, um, we're going to go down the cross one, and then place another bead in front of it. And then we're going to go down the cross one, and then down the cross one. To create the looking, a shape looking like this. It's not the most beautiful shape yet. In fact, you're probably wondering, how is that going to turn into that? But in time, you'll see. You'll see. It looks like a toy. I don't know what it looks like at the moment, but definitely nothing like a cockapoo. Right, so we're going to pause the video now and then come back once you have placed the beads. Okay, now it's just going to like this. If you don't reckon you pause the and then rerun it back to start and see what you've gone wrong. Um, next step, which we've already just done, is it's just filling in, um, joining up those two lines, which will be nice and simple. Now, before we can fill in anything, we need to make eyes and the nose and the eyebrow which I'm going to do with you. So I'm going to show you the nose and then I'm going to show you one eye and one eyebrow and then you do the other eye and the other eye on your own. Right, so put your nose you are going to go to this beat here, look at this beat here and you are going to count down to three. One, two, three. And then place a black bead there. We're then going to go across four, go the other way. So one, two, three, four. Then we go to the that. Okay, your cockapoo is starting to look a bit more like a cockapoo now. It's not really here, but when we add the eyes in and the ears, it'll look much more like a cockapoo. So, after the eyes, we only have two more steps, and that'll be filling it in and making the ears. So, to make the eyes, well, we'll do the eyebrows first, but then the eyes. Because easy to do the eyebrows first. This makes the eye place more distinguishable. So, for the eyebrows, we're going to go to the very edge here and count down two. One, two. And that's where we're going to place our bead. We're then going to place another two next to that. And then we're going to go down the cross one and then place another two beads. Now, we're basically going to do the same thing again, but just under it, so we'll get a thick row like that, and then we'll go down to the very end. Okay, right, so we're now going to do the eye. Um, we're now going to do the eye. Underneath the eyebrow, and then you can do the exact same thing on the other side. So, to make the eye, the easiest way to think about it is is we're going to start it there, so just above this bead here. We're going to place two beads. We're then going to go up and across, and place another bead next to that. Down the cross, and place another bead next to that. And then down the bottom, so we'll be next to that. So we now have our eye shape. We're going to fill it all in apart from the very, very top corner. And we're then going to put our oh, eye bead there. Okay, that's your first eye and eyebrow done. Now, all you can do is do the exact same thing on the other side. Oh, and one more step we need to add a light brown bead. 
right so we do we need to do exact same thing on the other side so i recommend you pause the video now and then come back once you have done that Okay, welcome back. Now, the next step is the easiest step of all the steps that we've done and we're going to do it on this copper poo. And that is going to be filling it in. So we're going to fill in this whole area here using these light brown beads. And we're going to fill in the whole bottom area using these white beads. So I recommend you pause the video now and then come back once you have done. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you're certainly looking a bit like this. If you do, then well done. You have only got one more step to do to complete the poo. If you haven't, I recommend you pause the video now, rewind it back to the start and then see where you have gone wrong. Now, this is what we're going to do is making the copper poo ears. So I'm going to show you how to do one side and then you're going to try and do the other side of your own lead handful of dark brown beads and so if you do your hands like this free going down like that you're going to need to continue that pattern and place it in another bead going continue that pattern and place another bead going down we're then going to need to do that pattern again by placing another one going down so this is where we're going to break the pattern we're going to place a bead under it then another bead going out, just like that. Right, okay. So, we are now going to place, we're going to go in this row here, and we're going to place a bead one under this bead here. So, diagonally going down, one under. We're then going to do going down again. And then we're going to place another two beads next to that bead. And the reason we start with the top is because we're going to try and make the outline of the ear first. Because if we make the outline, it will be a lot easier to do. So we'll just have to fill in the inside. So, what you do next, you're going to go up and across one. Place one bead and then place another two beads next to it. Okay. We're now going to go in a bead we're now going to go in a bead and then we're going to go in another bead sorry not three beads up it's four beads up apologize so we're going to play so we're going to take do you have a bead here we're going to loop that in and then play another bead going in like that so it looks a bit small now but quite dumb yeah so instead of having three beads, it's four beads. So we just change that. And now we're going to go, going to go in cross number one. And we're going to want to go up. Now we just now you created one here. So what I'd recommend is we can pause the video now fill in this ear, then do exactly the same thing on the other side, and then, once you've done that, you should have your very own handmade copper poo. Hi 
Hi guys, welcome back. Hopefully you have something to look like this. If you do, well done, you have created your own hammer bead cockapoo. If you don't, then I recommend you pause the video, rewind it back to start and see where you've gone wrong. If you have gone wrong, it's normally not a massive thing, it's normally just some small, minor thing that you can tweak. So, um, make sure you go check out our cockapoo kit, the link is in the description below. We've got our schnauzer and um, our beauty flag, all of our other kits as well. Also, link down in the description below, make sure you check them out. Um, if you want to make a pre-vert, if you want to buy a pre-made version, then there's links to that as well. And we also have a kit that you can buy, which gives you everything you need at cheaper price, and it's free posting version. So if you want to click this, I definitely recommend you go buy that. Um, we will also be making um, a few other versions of the Cockapoo. So um, if this isn't your favourite, if you can't see another design, but don't worry, we'll be making other designs and we're also making kits for them. So if you want to get a proper kit but you're not so sure about this design, we will be making other proper so you can go and buy a kit for a different group or something else. So um um thanks for watching. Um I hope you enjoyed the video. Um please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!